What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another FNAF news video. It's been a while, it's been a little while since we've had FNAF news, the last video I made on FNAF news was kind of on plushies, because I didn't really know what other video to make. Uh, but anyway, we have some really cool FNAF news, we have more news about Tales from the Pizzaplex, and we all know that news can't get better than that. Um, well, it can. Guys, we have a new cover! We have a cover for the third Tales from the Pizzaplex book. Now, we don't know how many books there are. Um, I'm going to assume for now that there's five. Um, but obviously we know there's at least three. Uh, hopefully, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want 12 or not, but it, it might go to 12 again. That would be kind of cool um, if we have that kind of consistency. Um, but we have book number three, cover number three. This one is my favourite of uh, of the three that we have. So, this is the cover. This is amazing. Uh, first of all, this is the first Tales from the Peterplex uh, cover with an actual character that we know. So, um, we have had the title Lally's game before. Lally, of course, being one of the puppets in Sister Location and an advertising thing for Lally's lollies in, uh, in Freddy's pizzeria simulator but um this one we actually have a, a character that we know on the cover so this is moon of course looking fantastic i must add it it really is a great cover uh i really love the eyes the swirly eyes uh, and the background uh kind of implies what might be happening in the story um obviously moon is gonna have his own story it's this is so cool and one thing I do want to point out is the title is called Somniphobia. Um, I actually don't know what that is. I think it would make sense if it's to do with sleep or... Um, what? Well, yeah, it would make sense to do with sleep because uh, Somni, I believe, is to do with sleep. Obviously, it's a prefix. Uh, we, we have insomnia. That's not a prefix, but you know. I think it might be the fear of falling asleep. I will look it up quickly. Okay, yeah, so somnophobia is the fear of falling asleep and staying asleep. That is, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I've had that a few times, I would say. Uh, sleep is kind of a scary thing when you think about it. Dreaming is very scary. Um, so I've, I've, I want to see how that comes into play because we haven't really had... I don't know, we, we kind of have had stories like that, but um, this seems like it's going to be very different to all of that. Uh, or a lot of previous stories. And obviously, it's with Moon, um, so we have that kind of... We, we have this semantic field of sleep, essentially, and nighttime, and it's going to be a very creepy story, I think. Uh, what I do want to say is that there's a few things in Security Breach that kind of line up with all of this and what a story in Tales from the Peterplex could potentially be. First of all, Moon slash Sun actually does have handprints on them, um, which is good to note. Obviously, it means they're very grubby from all of the children uh, and, and stuff. Uh, it could mean something more sinister than that. Maybe they are being used by... Vanny or glitch traps control to kill kids, something like that. I don't know. Obviously, Moon is dangerous. Um, we, we see Moon being dangerous in Security Breach, so all of that is good to point out. But also, we have the Moon Drop candy, or is it the Moon Drop candy? I think it's a different candy, but uh, I will show it on the screen. Yeah, the Moon Drop Sleepy Time candy, I believe, puts children to sleep, so that's. That's very uh, mysterious there, and also I believe there was a uh, uh, there was a story in Security Breach. One of the duffel bags says that there was a child who had night terrors. I think so. It could come into play there if if this is somewhat canon to to the the, the games. I'm not sure if it will be. So yeah, we we have that kind of. We have, we have a lot of connections to sleep and stuff in Security Breach, which I really like. Uh, I really like where this might be going. It's possible Sun might show up in this story, actually. Sun, it, it could be someone making friends with Sun, and then it all goes dark, and then uh, they can't sleep because Moon is chasing... I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a very average uh, kind of... That's like 
a story that you could write, that anyone could write really. So it, it's going to be different in some way, there's going to be some kind of catch to it. Um, I'm really excited for this, I really am. Um, there is this image going around, so this is the full kind of image of the cover, and it has a back to it. Uh, it has the blurb and all of that, which is really cool. However, something to note is that this is the blurb for the first book, okay? Um, I was reading this and I was like, wait, did they take all of the stories from the first book and then transfer them into the third book? No, this is just the back for the first book that they've used as a placeholder because they don't want us to know about the description or the summaries for the, well not summaries, but the description for the third book, so a, forbi a forbidden artifact from a fiance's uh, past beckons to Selena, that's, that's um, Lally's game. And you can even see kind of the cover in the background, there's a silhouette of the person that we see in, in Lally's game. So um, yeah, I don't really know if I've got much else to say, I mean, the cover looks excellent, um, I'm really excited for this story and for all uh, of the books, to be honest. Let me know what you think, uh, but that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, this is really exciting. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, subscribe for more FNAF news in the future when I get more news. And uh, I will see you later. Goodbye.